Hey guys, it's Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have 10 easy summer nail ideas and I am so excited for this because I partnered up with Arosa and they just released six new shades in their Cool Heat summer collection. So that's actually what you guys are seeing right now and I didn't end up doing live swatches just because I am using my left hand for this video, which is my non-dominant hand. So I'm just like showing the colors instead. And as always, these had a great formula and I was so happy that they finally released a white and that ended up being a two coater and actually all of them were two coaters except for the orange shade which I ended up doing three coats because it was a bit more sheer but anyways love the colors so let me show you guys some nail art you can do with them so for the first design I saw this lilac purple in this coral shade and I was like oh I have to do an ombre so I started off with a purple base and then I'm taking a makeup sponge and applying those two colors across and then just sponging it onto my nail. Whenever you're doing ombre nails you want to use colors that are pretty opaque so these ended up working really well and then you also want to make sure you're letting it dry for probably about a minute in between each like layer of sponging and then you're just going to refill your sponge and sponge it on your nail again and I think I ended up I don't know, I either filled my sponge three times or two times, I honestly don't remember. But either way, these are super easy to do, and if you need more tips, I will link a how-to video either like in the cards or down in the description box. But once you get the look that you want, you're gonna go ahead and remove your barrier. And I will also have this link down below. I get them from Amazon. They just make your life so much easier. And because I do have short nails right now, I did get some nail polish on the top of my finger. So I just took a brush and some acetone and just wiped that off. And then after that, you're just gonna add your top coat. And as always, I'm gonna be showing you guys the glossy finish and the matte finish. And you guys know I normally like the matte finish better, but I don't know, for this one, I think I actually like the glossy finish better. But either way, I was so in love with this ombre that I wanted to do it again. So this time I started off with a white base, added a top coat and let that dry completely, and then I added a straight nail vinyl on top. And this time I'm gonna be using the same colors, but I'm using the small end of the sponge. I did this because I'm only doing an ombre on half of my nail, but I'm still doing the same thing. I'm just gonna sponge that on going up and down to blend the colors together. And this one I think did take three coats just because I started on a white base instead of a purple base. So I'm just gonna refill my sponge and repeat these steps. And then once I was done, I just peeled off the nail vinyl and then again removed my barrier. And guys, the finished look was so cute. Like the white against the ombre, look at that. I seriously love that so much. At this point, I was on an ombre kick. So I ended up doing another ombre using a circle nail vinyl this time. And I did use two of their older shades with a new shade. Again. Make sure your base color is completely dry before you put any kind of vinyl or tape on it. And then I'm gonna be really careful when I'm sponging it on just because you can go out of the lines and then it'll just be like a weird ring going around the vinyl. So you really just take your time with this. And you could always add tape around the vinyl just in case you feel like your hand's gonna be too shaky. And I realized I had a little bit too much of the coral shade, so when I went to refill my sponge for the second time, I made that section smaller and I added more yellow just so I could get more yellow like in the actual circle. If that makes, I really hope that makes sense. But again, you're gonna sponge it up and down until the colors blend and remove your vinyl as soon as you are done. And this vinyl was so satisfying to peel off, like it came off perfectly. And okay, I know I keep saying I love how it turned out, but guys, I seriously love this one. This one is by far my favorite. It looks like some kind of sun with the sunset inside or something. It just, it looks like summer, so really love that one. So for the next design, I'm doing a dry brush design and these are so easy to do, guys. If you haven't tried them, you need to. Instead of wiping the brush against the bottle like I normally would, I wiped the brush onto a makeup sponge just so it could really dry it out. And then I just swiped it randomly across my nail. And you can also add more colors to this, but I just wanted to keep it pretty simple. So after that, I just went ahead and added my top coat. Moving on to the next design, I started with a dry base and I laid a piece of striping tape going across my nail and then also going down the middle of my nail. And I'm gonna be taking this shade Splash, which is like a greenish teal shade and painting that above the striping tape. And again, I am using my left hand. So right here, I just missed my finger completely, but I'm just gonna go back and clean that up with a brush and acetone, so it's not really a big deal. You wanna make sure you remove your striping tape as soon as possible. Do not let your nail polish dry and you'll be good. And the cleanup brush I'm using is from What's Up Nails, if anybody was wondering. I've actually had this for 
I want to say three years now which is crazy but anyways here is the finished look and the nude that I used in this one and the last design is called moon and this is one of my favorites from Marosa I've already gone through my first bottle and I'm almost done with my second actually but yeah for the next look I started off with a dry white base and then I'm using these fringe tip finals and kind of just putting them going across my nail and then I'm using the shade pinata to fill in that area and something I like to do is to start on one side fill it out and then do the other side and create sort of an outline and I just like to do this just so I can get the vinyl off as soon as possible and then I'll go back in and fill in the middle and the brush I'm using to fill it in is from Amazon and I did cut it down you guys know I always cut my brushes down I like these because it comes with so many of them and it's a really affordable price so yeah I realized for the rest of the video I did use striping tape and I don't want it to be super repetitive so I'm just going to play some music for the rest of the designs and yeah I will talk to you guys in my next video bye